Hello my peeps, it's Antoinette here. And tonight I needed to clean some items out of my refrigerator. Um, so for dinner, I am making um, this chicken piccata out of this book. I only made one other item out of this book um, a while ago. I made the mozzarella sticks. There's a video. This one here. Keto for low carb lovers. Last night, I couldn't sleep. I don't know why. I mean, I went to bed at like 11. I woke up at 3, staring at the ceiling, and didn't have to work until this morning. Well, whenever that could be 6, 7, 8, 30. 8 30 is the real start time, but we do nothing but overtime. We've, we've been doing overtime for a year now. So exhausting but uh, anyway I got up and uh, I thought you know I'm gonna make some something for dinner tonight so um, I, I pulled out this book uh, to see if there was something that I actually you know that I had and um, I knew I had this big old thing of chicken thighs these have been here for a while in my freezer, so, I mean, I've been thinking that I need to do something with these soon. Um, so, I pulled them out of the freezer, and uh, here we are. They're nice and thawed. When I found this recipe, the chicken uh, piccata, which I really have no idea what that is, I think it's all about the capers and the lemon. So, uh, I mean, that's what I can figure. Now, I don't know what a caper is. Um, so I looked at the label, it says, ingredients, capers. So I guess that's just what it is. Product of Turkey or Morocco. So that's what we have. You know, I'm gonna open it up and taste one. Hmm. I think it tastes kind of like a salty olive. It's actually very flavorful. Okay, um, so since I was up so early, I hightailed it over to uh, Myers. That's where I got those. They only had one brand. Um, and I had a hard time finding a decent lemon, but now when I look at this recipe, I screwed up because it says the juice of one lemon, but then it also says one lemon sliced. So I only have one lemon, but I do have uh, that little lemon juice thing. I'm, I'm gonna have to resort to that for the lemon juice. All right, let's get started. I have here my largest T-Fall pan. This one by itself cost $40. I bought the whole set last year, but uh, this one, for whatever reason, <laughs> if you wanted the big one, you had to pay $40. So, yeah, I did. I definitely need it tonight. We're heating up the pan, and uh, the first thing we're gonna do is put in uh, one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. This calls for four bone-in, skin-on uh, thighs. I have six, but they're not all. It's like three or big and, and three are small, so uh, we're gonna make it work. Besides, I've got neighbors to feed. <laughs> All my Cathy's. I always do. Okay, let's heat up the pan. That covers it pretty darn well. I'm just gonna let that heat up a, a, a tad. While I, it's heating up, I've got my gloves. 
because you know it's just smart to uh, put on your gloves anytime you're dealing with chicken. I went on Pinterest and uh, looked for a, a cherry tomato um, side dish and I found a little recipe that's pretty quick and easy. So we are going to make um, this, uh, the cherry tomato uh, roasted. I thought I would use my wonderful uh, Marzetta imported cocktail onions because I love these so much. Um, I thought the tomatoes and the onions would be fabulous together with the spinach. So we will be making that as well. All right, I think the pan is heated. Oh, it's hot. Okay, first I'm just gonna put the chicken on. Oh, that was deceiving. These little ones aren't so little, they were just stuffed under there, but I've got six. It says just to salt and pepper them. I needed a little more oil with those big old thighs, so. I added another tablespoon. I have this wonderful, uh, you know, splatter screen. Um, this is Pampered Chef, and I really do love it because it folds up like this, which is great to clean it in the dishwasher, but but also to store. And I find that I should put it on. Listen to that sizzle. <laughs> All right, we're ready to flip. Eight more minutes. That looks fabulous. The chicken looks beautiful and smells wonderful. Just look at these heirloom tomatoes from Costco. They're fabulous. The oven is preheated to 350 for uh, the tomatoes. And uh, we're going to go ahead and put it together. It's real quick. All right, so for two pounds of tomatoes, uh, they say to add one clove. But I'm going to add two. Yeah. Oh, that smells great. Uh, I have the Spice Islands old cloves. Then, uh, very simple, uh, one and a half tablespoons of the balsamic. Now, I have that sweet cherry balsamic because the recipe also calls for, you know, some sugar or sugar substitute. I have this one. So I'm not going to add any sugar. I'm just gonna do the one and a half tablespoons. One and... Okay. Ooh, highly fragrant. One and a half tablespoons of either um, olive oil or avocado oil. I have the Marianne's avocado oil in here. I am adding those uh, pearl onions, cocktail onions, so I'm okay with adding just a bit more. Let's see. All right, and then just salt. That's the taste. Beautiful. So you want to put this in the oven at 350 for uh, 10 to 15 minutes and then you're going to want to um, flip over if necessary. All right.
I'm gonna pour it on my cookie sheet. I could have used my smaller one. This is the largest, but we are gonna roast, so we're gonna spread it out. It's okay. I forgot the cocktail onions. I gotta get those on. Now they're ready to go in the oven. I'm not buying this, but it says, this one pan lemony chicken comes together in just 30 minutes. This isn't the Rachel Ray show. Okay, on to the chicken. Uh, <laughs> it says to remove half of the drippings, but um, I did add an extra tablespoon, but I'm thinking uh, since I had six pieces of chicken, I'm just gonna remove a little. Look at this beautiful plate. These were made in Portugal. Um, and it was a funny story because um, I went to a garage sale and I saw um, my manager that from Wells Fargo when I worked there in 2010. He was running the garage sale. And I got a whole slew of these dishes well, for only $10 because that's all I had on me. He gave me the whole the whole bin. Thank you. He also subscribed. He eats healthy. So, not a lot of bread. Look how beautiful. I mean, these are just amazing. I really love uh, the cup and saucer for coffee. I didn't know that I really wanted a saucer under my cup, but I do. I seem to use that cup and saucer. So I'm going to pour some of the drippings in here. I'm going to leave a lot more in. Okay. Two tablespoons of butter. Now, this white wine, it's, it's the white cooking wine. Um, they had the liquor department all, uh, you know, cut off at Myers this morning because I went at 6 a.m. Um, so I, I had to resort to the cooking wine. It calls for a quarter cup of dry white wine, but I learned this from Emerald <laughs> that you want to pick a wine that you will actually drink. That's preferred. So I'm not drinking this, but I'm going to use a quarter cup. I have the Pioneer Woman quarter cup. A blend of white wine and distilled spirits. Whatever that means. Cooking wine. It smells more like vinegar than anything. It'll be good. It's okay. Next, let's see, uh, two skillet, add butter, garlic, wine, and lemon juice. Oh, and capers. And bring to a simmer. Simmer. All right, I'm putting it on three. Now, the lemon juice alternative, it says three tablespoons is one lemon. So that's what I'm going to put in. Two. Three tablespoons in. I have my minced garlic. It calls for three cloves. To me, that's three tablespoons. Two. 
two tablespoons of the mysterious capers. There definitely is an aroma in the ear. So the tomatoes and onions have a way to go. It takes a lot more than 15 minutes. I'm thinking 30. Once this comes to a simmer, then I'm going to put the chicken back in the pan for, it says only five minutes, but to me more is better. Okay, we're at a simmer now. Last step. It says, I tasted it. The flavors are incredible, honestly. But now it says to add the lemon slices of one lemon to the pan. And then put the chicken back in. It smells incredible. The chicken is going back in. What's great is how the chicken had quite the opportunity to rest. Definitely put the lid back on because that's going to keep it very moist. I'm going to turn it down a bit, but I'm going to, I'm going to cook it a little low and slow and infuse those flavors. Look at my plate. I know this is amazing. Okay, let's try the chicken. Wow, it's very tender. Mm. Yeah, I'll, I'll cut through right the middle here. Wow. I will tell you, uh, this is not a 30 minute meal. Not the way I make it. Um, low and slow is the way to go. Let the flavors infuse. Sure, you could make it in 30 minutes, but don't. What this really is, is a date night meal. Mm. Too bad I don't have one of those. But if you do, this is a fabulous dish. Mm. The tomato is a um, little bit of sweet, little bit of tart. 